yeah, 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 yeah. And when I'm on stage, the energy on stage is like where I feel the most comfortable. I'm actually more comfortable in front of 5,000 people than I am in front of 50 people. Canadian-born Fafa Khan is using her Japanese, Pakistani and Finnish descent to connect with Canada's diverse audience, making her one of the leading DJs in the country. Diversity matters to me uh, so much now, especially today, because especially the industry I am in, it's very obviously male dominated. I never really had a commercial female DJ to look up to and be like, oh, I'm going to do that. Like, it's all been males and especially like kind of one ethnicity. <laughs> so uh, I haven't seen that much diversity in that. Now it's getting better, but I feel like there's a lane to be filled. Fafa doesn't look like most other DJs and people are taking notice. The people who come up to me the most are females, but also because of my last name Khan, I get asked all the time, what's your background? Where are you from? Like that, those are like probably the first first question people ask me is like where I'm from and as soon as I say all the different ethnicities they always somehow connect to it and I love that. Being a change maker in our industry has made Fafa so much more aware of how much representation matters. Growing up it's always been like these kind of huge big European DJs on stage that like cool but it hasn't changed in so many years so um just that reaction from people makes such a difference for me, and I think that's so important to keep it going. Fafa has no plans to slow down anytime soon. So I just want to keep touring. I just want to keep getting more international because that's where we need the diversity. That's where other people need to see physically on stage. Like it's crazy the amount of people that come up to you and it's like, I've never seen a female or I've never seen someone like of your background do this or whatever. Like that's a normal to me. We're in 2020 and it's still not seen. In Montreal, for reenacting Mohammed, City News.